Dora the Explorer. What a great childhood educational show. Children can learn lots from the show, right? Like not to steal or how to be patient like Dora. Since Dora and her friends will literally wait and stare into your soul while you answer their questions. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10 and welcome to today's video. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 scary Dora the Explorer theories. A sentence I never thought I would say. So, Dora the Explorer. Basically, it's about a young girl who goes on adventures with her talking animal friends like the monkey boots and her magical talking backpack and map. But Dora isn't as innocent as she looks. Starting off the countdown, we have Dora the Witch. Now, what can explain the fact that Dora has talking inanimate objects? Well, it may just be because it's a kid show, or maybe it's because she's actually a witch that can conjure up spells. That one's far more interesting. Now, one of the spells is placed on the backpack and the map so that they can help her along the way. In fact, she's trying to recruit children into witchhood as well. She needs the children's help in order to conjure the spells by chanting along with her. That's why she has those chants, like chanting backpack, backpack to receive the item that she needs. Now, it is said that she also has placed a spell on Swiper. The spell is Swiper No Swiping. When she says that, Swiper will fail to take the item. If he does succeed to take the item, then he always will have to throw it away. So this spell ensures that Swiper can never truly steal anything. Coming in at number 9, we have Dora Suffers from Dementia. D -d -d Dora, more like d -d dementia. So Dora is said to suffer from extreme short term memory loss, kind of like Drew Barrymore in the movie 50 First Dates. She's stuck doing the same things every day, and to her, it feels new. But the audience can see the daily repetition of her life. And she's constantly gonna be stuck acting and thinking like a child, even when she ages. Now, throughout the episodes, Dora will ask the audience for help and then pause for an uncomfortable amount of time just staring into your soul. In fact, there are are no audiences in her world. She is just talking to herself, and that's how long it takes her brain to process new information. Coming in next at number eight, we have Boots is a Trapped Child. Now, if the previously mentioned theory is correct and Dora is a witch, then people believe that Boots is actually a child that she is trapped and turned into a monkey type creature. Kind of like how Yzma turned Cusco into a llama in Emperor's New Groove. So, first off, Boots can talk. And secondly, he literally wears boots. If he was a real monkey with opposable type thumbs on his feet, then wearing boots would be extremely uncomfortable. That means that this child is a monkey but still has some of his human features. That's why he can talk and walk normally. Boots is then stuck being Dora's assistant for eternity. Moving on to number seven, we have Dora is in a coma. People believe that Dora is actually in a coma and is imagining everything that is shown in the show. But how did this happen? Well, people theorize that Dora was home alone one day when robbers decided to break into her house. As a result, she ended up getting attacked by these robbers and ended up in a coma. In fact, Swiper is actually a reference to one of the robbers that attacked her. That's why Swiper is always around Dora and stealing items, because her last memory was of her attacker. So now Dora is living in a dreamlike world until she wakes up from her coma. People theorize that she never will be able to, until her parents pull the plug. In our sixth spot, we have Swiper is a human. Now, people believe that Swiper was actually a man who then got turned into a fox. So this theory surrounds the idea that Swiper was once a poor peasant. He wasn't the nicest man, and as a result for his bad behavior, Dora punished him by turning him into a fox. Now, why would Swiper constantly want to steal items but not keep them? Because he just always throws them away right after. Seems like a complete waste of time. Well, what if Dora's backpack holds the potion to turn Swiper back into a human? Now, that would make sense to why he's always following Dora around. He's just waiting for the opportunity to sneak into her backpack and get the potion. He may steal those other items to distract Dora until he has a chance to get what he truly wants. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the cursed backpack. Now, Dora's backpack looks completely harmless. It's literally a bag with a face on it that sings. But turns out the backpack has a darker agenda. So people are convinced that Dora's backpack is actually cursed. They say that it's some sort of enchanted artifact, maybe even cursed by an old spirit. Like, it has the ability to summon a variety of different objects just from a little backpack. Either that or it has the extension charm from Harry Potter cast on it. But 
Anyways, this bag always supplies Dora with a variety of items. Some are useful, while others are said to just be a distraction. The bag is constantly testing Dora's worthiness. If she chooses the wrong item in a bad situation, then Dora could end up dying. But honestly, I think that this is pretty funny. Like in one of the episodes, Backpack asks which item is good to put on boots, scrape knee, and then they give you options like rope, a band-aid, an umbrella, scissors. Like yeah, just I'm gonna take the umbrella and put it on the cut and it's kind of funny. In our fourth spot, we have the theory that Dora has schizophrenia. Dora spends her days roaming around, going on adventures that she is completely making up. But she's convinced that everything she sees is all real. This includes a blue bull, a light purple and yellow monkey, and a giant red chicken. Ever notice why the animals are all unusually colored? Well, it's because Dora is delusional. She imagines that her town is a rainforest and that she can talk to animals and inanimate objects. In fact, Boots is said to be one of her doctors. He follows Dora around observing her behavior and makes sure that she doesn't get into any trouble. But Dora imagines Boots as a monkey that wears boots. Dora is also never seen going to school. Well, that's because her case of schizophrenia is so severe that she can't go to school. Moving on at number three, we have Dora is suffering from a terminal illness. Poor Dora, apparently she hasn't got a lot more time to live. So this theory revolves around the idea that Dora is very sick and her adventures are all in her imagination. So Dora is said to be so sick that she isn't allowed to leave her house. She suffers from an illness that causes a child to be born with a big head, which explains why Dora's head is unusually large. Now as a result of her sickness, she isn't allowed to leave her home. The adventures that she goes on are just the stories that she makes up from playing with her toys. Her toys are a stuffed animal fox and a monkey and the doll that she considers herself. She wishes that she can be adventurous and brave so she just created this doll as someone who she wants to be. Now she made her stuffed animal fox the personification of her illness because her illness is literally swiping away years of her life. In our second spot we have Dora is an undercover spy. Hard to believe that this little 8 year old girl could be a spy but there are a lot of reasons why people believe it. So people believe that this show takes place in the 1960s. This was during the Cold War when there was the whole Cuban Missile Crisis. Now people believe that Dora is assigned to find out information on the nuclear missiles in Cuba. Dora, as in D-O-R-A, is said to stand for Designated Operative Recon Agent. Now Dora is always seen on specific established paths. She never actually explores unknown locations. That's because she already knows where she needs to go. And her talking map? Well, it's a reference to her GPS that is guiding her where to go. And then we have the monkey boots. Well, boots is a reference to the military term boots on the ground. It refers to the individuals who are currently fighting in a war zone. Nice try, Dora, but we figured out your true identity. And in our number one spot, we have Demon Swiper. So of course one of the most well known characters is Swiper the Fox. Every episode he gives Dora a hard time, steals her items and then throws them away. And of course you have the famous line, Swiper no swiping. Now people have a theory that Swiper is actually a demon. They believe that he is an evil spirit in a form of a fox that's goal is to cause chaos on earth. In fact people have made the connection between Swiper and the story of Life of Leoba by Rodolf Folda. In this story a nun loses the church key and feels guilty for being negligent. However, the head nun believes that it was stolen by a swiper demon. Eventually, they find a dead fox at the church door with the key in his mouth. They say that Satan had transformed himself into a fox and had stolen the keys. They ended up defeating him by praying. Okay, so who else do we know that is a fox that steals? Swiper. That means the phrase, swiper no swiping, is a command that repels swiper so he can't steal. Therefore, Swiper is a demon. And that's all I have for you for today. Let's move on to our comment shout out. I'll be shouting out comments from my video, Top 10 Kids Who Remembered Their Past Life Part 2. Yindi Amara commented, Every member of my family has the same birthmark in the same spot. That's a little freaky, but also that's really cool. I, I wonder what it symbolizes. That username commented, The best cereal ever is Sugar Cookie Crunch. As for remembering past lives, there was a boy in Russia that had memories of being on Mars. First off, I've never heard of that cereal, but I'm down to try it, but it just sounds like a bowl of pure sugar. Um, but also for the boy, does that mean that he was an alien in his past life? Hmm? 
freaky. Hunter Bernard commented, my brother said calmly I was Aquaman in my past life and he didn't even know how to say past life. Jason Momoa better watch out then. We got a real life Aquaman here. And that's all the comments that I'm shouting out for today's video. Don't forget to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. Thank you.